Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are discussing a stream API question. Given a string, return the character with maximum frequency in the string. So an input is given to us, Java developer, and E is the character with maximum frequency or it appears in the string maximum number of times. So that is what we have to print. Okay. So since we have to print a string, uh, sorry, a character, what we will do is first we will convert the string into in string. Okay. So this step converts it into in string. So in stream basically gives us back uh, like Unicode that is not same as ASCII. Unicode has a wider range. For example, emojis and different symbols of currencies also come under in stream. Okay. So this we converted into in stream. Then we will convert. So in stream basically we have an integer because uh, uh, we get an integer. Okay. Returned. And that needs to be converted to a character. So we need to do map to object. Map to object and C. C is coming up as an integer. So we need to convert this to a character. So now we have a character. Then what we need to do is we need to make our frequency map. collectors dot grouping by how we do it for other similar kind of questions function identity and collectors dot counting okay so here we converted it into character And here we created our frequency map. So up until this stage, we have our frequency map with us. Now next, what we need is, uh, since it is a map, right? So a map will have a key value pair up until this point. So we need to convert that uh, into entry set. So for the, this reason, we have entry set and then an entry set, we will convert it into stream. And then we are going to get the maximum value, maximum of map dot entry to complete pairing by value because out here we have a key value pair like for example j is equals to 1 a is equals to 2 so we are concerned with getting the one with the maximum value right so that is why we are doing this and uh, we need to get our key back right so map entry get key value I think method reference will work here okay let me check get key okay and then let's give or else Or else let's give null let's check our answer and we are getting E okay 
so this was a simple program i hope that all of you understood this thank you so much for watching let's catch up in the next video